Hello YouTube, this is Terrell. Today is Sunday, March the 18th, 2012. This video is to let you know that a press release has just been made. <clears throat> We're coming up on our event that is shown on this diagram right here. Okay, we go back in time, February 27th, 2010. We're looking at the 188-day cycle map. Okay, this is when Earth axis shifted three inches. We're looking at the Leo constellation up this way. This is the Fukushima event. This is the event that's coming up right here where this red line is. Sun, Earth, Leo constellation. Okay, this is where the, the Saturn passed whenever it developed its extra ring between the, the Sun and the Leo constellation. This is what's about to happen right now. Okay, remember December 18th on the back on the we're on backside orbit over here for this time, and then we reached outside orbit on December the 18th. Then we started orbiting towards the heavy mass object. All the animals, remember, mass animal deaths and stuff. The Earth started making noises, the outgassing of the Midwest. Those events. Now we're coming right to here. Our magnetic portal connection from the Sun and the heavy mass object diverged. They began diverging when we're back here. We had the magnetic portal connection from the Sun. And we had a second one coming from the heavy mass object. If we came out here, you see they're they're diverging. Now over here is whenever they all of a sudden this out so this is on the outside of our planet, and the sun is on the inside still. Now as the Earth comes around on the inside, we have a straight line between these magnetic portal connections. That's March 22nd, 2012, 4:58:34 UTC. Okay. The next event on the timeline is going to be September 26, 2012. But instead of a, uh, of a, of a 7.5 event, along with these, it appears that we're going to have a perihelion event with a heavy mass object on September 22nd, and then there's going to be an alignment on this date. And that sounds like far too much of a coincidence. I'm going to be making another video to try to explain that to you guys. Now, this, this is the press release that I just sent for immediate release Sunday, March 18th. Now, the reason it was sent on March the 18th is going to become uh, clear as we proceed. Okay, there's a reason for withholding this until right now. Um, immediate release Sunday, March 18, 2012. On March 22, 2012, Earth axis will shift 5 inches with a 9 magnitude quake expected in a Pacific Ocean event when Earth passes through a gravity trough connecting the Sun and an inbound heavy mass object. Okay, I'm just calling, I'm not calling a black dwarf or anything else. That's my suspicion. I'm just calling a heavy mass object. Our researchers have discovered a pattern of seismicity going back to 1965. You can see Mincer Armour Bossage, Cornell, April 11, 2012. Um, but he's going to list Elenin in his pattern. When Elenin is actually coming out of Leo, just like this object. So he was looking at the tracked object, and the heavy mass object was on the back side. Okay, um... Um, that has transitioned into large magnitude events, including Earth axis shifts on a regular 188-day cycle. See, every other time we're on the near orbit, and that's when we have our Earth axis shifts. Three-inch shift on Chile, and four-inch shift with Fukushima. We're expecting five or six inches on this shift. We're in the deeper part of the of the gravity trough now, and that's why the, we're going to hit the bump in the road going 66,000 miles per hour, and then we're going to have the Earth axis shift, and we're going to have this gigantic event that's coming, and um, then there's something else that's going to happen before that that I'm, that I'm going to get to here that's going to make it all make sense. Okay, the next timeline event is expected to take place according to our calculations on March 22, 2012 at 4.58.34 UTC when Earth will pass through a gravity trough connecting the Sun and the heavy mass object uh, being tracked out of the Leo constellation. Saturn is currently in the Virgo constellation, next door to the Leo constellation, where the ring planet also passed between the Sun and the heaven as object to develop an extra ring and the superstorm now raging in the northern hemisphere. The evidence indicates that Jupiter, Jupiter's liquefying core, Venus's slowing rotation, with Mars and Uranus's increased seismicity are all perturbations associated with our inbound heavy mass object. The last time Saturn experienced this storm type was 30 years ago, when the planet passed between the Sun and Leo constellation. Our team is also tracking the U.S. government response to these threats, which includes presidential, NASA, DHS, and FEMA preparations. Our research team also anticipates that HARP multi-frequency wave signatures will begin transmitting on March 19, 2012 at 4.58.34 UTC, precisely 72 hours prior to the expected event. The team also expects to see increased 4 to 6 magnitude quake swarm activity in the event location. Everyone living in or around a seismic area should be warned 
to brace for one of the top five seismic events in recorded history on March 22, 2012, right around the equinox. Okay, that's the press release, what's happening. It's been sent to all kinds of people. ABC News, BBC, CBS News. Um, this is just some of the people. Also sent it to Marshall Masters and offered him a, uh, a letter of apology because I was out of line. Between uh, we, I got caught between Mitchell Armour Bossich and Marshall Masters, and it became emotional. And I do that once or twice a year, and it, it was unfortunate. And he accepted my apologies. Very gracious man. No matter what anybody says about Marshall Masters, he is a brilliant man. I really learned a lot from him. I appreciate the opportunity he gave me to be on his his Common Ellen and Research team and part of his radio show on May 3rd of 2011. I learned a lot from it. As a matter of fact, my radio program is modeled after his. And I greatly appreciate his help. Um, this is a topic you can, if you want to go and look at it, then I'm going. To, this will be in the description box. This is a topic at terralow3.com. You guys are welcome to do that. And remember that you do not have to wait for a uh, press release. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to wait for a. Uh, let me get myself together here. A radio show. This is the uh, research group right here. There are 77 people in here exchanging links and things like that. This group is growing. I expect on May, May. I expect on March the 22nd, there's going to be 250 people in this room, uh, one, you know, watching for what's about to happen. This event is going to be gigantic. Uh, that's about to happen. And so, whenever I let's put that link right here, and this is what you're going to be looking at. Oh boy, let's try again. This is my page for the research group. If it ever is going to pop up, here we go. Um, this is where the page that you go to is down in the link list. You join the group here that puts you among hundreds of members, and then you enter the room, which is going to bring you right here. Quite a few people have been coming from YouTube, um, you know. But I'm looking at the number of views. My YouTube subscribers are going to be the last people to wake up on this thing right here. Um, you guys are not paying attention to what's about to happen. But after this, I think that you're going to realize there's something big that's going on here. This is the uh, the uh, my room. This is what the messenger looks like right here. And there's my room right there. These are the other rooms that are on my the favorites list. That's how you do it. Add favorites, and the room pops right in here. You'll see Terrell's Research Group. Then you just right-click and join, and you're here. Okay, so this is... To let you guys know that I have made a press release, this is very important. People in seismic areas need to be warned that it, the one of the biggest seismic events in Earth history, Earth recorded history, is about to take place, and it's going to take place on March the 22nd at the time prescribed, at the time that I just showed. And the important thing is that harp flotillas have already been moved in position. They're going to begin resonating on 72-hour notice, 72 hours before. Um, I, I have that information not readily available to be able to show to you on why and how and this and that. But I see the pattern from what happened last year with Fukushima. I'm expecting Benjamin Fulford to come out right after this event and begin directing traffic. Begin trying to navigate and p push people into his uh, quote-unquote uh, elite war, harp war. He's going to say this is a harp war. That was This was, event was done on purpose, but it is not. They're going to make you think that HARP is able to do this, but it is not. It can only enhance things. Remember also, I'm putting it down in the, in the link list for my original March 22nd warning that other people are warning of a big event on this day that don't even know about the heavy mass object because we're having multiple planetary alignments and the moon is in alignment on that day. Okay, Even without the heavy mass object, we could be looking at an event, but with it, we're looking at something that is gigantic and catastrophic for somebody. I'm not saying this is the end of the world or anything like that, but it's going to be a Fukushima-like event. Hopefully there's not a uh, nuclear power plant involved this time. But this event is coming up very shortly on March 22nd. When you wake up on March 22nd, the event should have already happened if you're in North America. Anyway, so this is the information uh, that's been released to the media. And if they're, if they're not going to warn anybody, then that's completely up to them. Um, because I've done my job of sending out the, uh, the press release.